There are a countless amount of water systems in this world. Our mission is to catch fish from as many as we can. Ooh. Big. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> in this series, we will share every setback. No! All right, let it go. Yeah, no. He's got me snagged. I have to go get him. In every victory, while we attempt to conquer new waters. Maddie's in the store right now and she had to get some ice for the cooler. We got about a two hour drive ahead of us to get to the first body of water on our list. It's about an 800 acre lake and it's literally a sunken forest. Supposedly there's trees sticking out of the water everywhere. So we're gonna have to be extra cautious with that. We're going into this completely blind. And that's sort of what this is all about. We want to challenge ourselves to get out there and explore fisheries we've never been to before and just figure out patterns all on our own. So we have no idea where any hot spots are. We have no idea what baits, perform the best, anything like that. It'll be up to us to figure out as much as we can and share the experience with you. But anyways, that's enough of my rambling. We're going to hit the road and um, we'll catch you guys at the boat ramp. I already see the trees everywhere. The sunken forest. We just watch where we're going and go slow. We're gonna go to the back of this cove, all the way back here, and uh, start there and fish our way out. Where we're at, this was an actual forest. It's a flooded forest that we're fishing. Trees everywhere. Oh, I felt one. I hit one. I hit one too. I really hit one like it. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. Do you, th you think it's okay? It's gonna have to be. <laughs> if not, you'd get on this with me and we'd go back. Look, it's still life growing on this tree. It's wild. All right, hopefully I can get close enough to it to park. It's all kinds of spider webs on it though. Just gonna be throwing this spinnerbait. I also have a brush hog hat on, but I wanna spend some time with this spinnerbait first. It's cause it is a windy day. The water's a little stained. And I think this is in front of the right fish. This will get big. Mm, I thought I had one. What is even that? That's not even a log. I don't know what that is. It's like a metal pole. Look, there's all kinds of little minnows around it. Me and this tree's gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna come around here. You fish that way, I'll fish this way. Boop. All right, I'm anchored. Come off. I had him. I hooked him. First fish of the day and I missed it. Heartbreak. That was such a good bite. I guess it just didn't hook him good. Oh, no. All right, let's try this again. That's our third missed fish. That's crazy. Just keep missing them. I can feel it pulling through so many trees and sticks. All right, we're gonna head on guys and uh, work our way toward where Maddie's at, maybe even further back down in this cove. See how stumpy it is first. And that will determine how far back we can go. But let's get on back here and find out. It's really stumpy. It ended up being super shallow back there. It was really um, hitting logs and bottom them out, bottoming out. So um, we're just gonna catch up with Maddie and come back this way, fish around this stuff and find us another little area of interest. Just lost some good structure pretty much everywhere. This whole lake you could just about cast anywhere, which makes it fun, but also challenging because you, you know, you don't have those few places that are like, this is where you want to cast at. It could be anywhere. It's a little overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. I can just feel all the trees at the bottom of this. And it'll make you think you got a fish when you don't. Let's cruise up here and get closer to Ray. See like the stump in the water? That's what you gotta look out for. And you don't see them until you're like on them. Do you mind if I park next to you? 
How many? There is a spider climbing onto your toe, but it's super little. I don't think you'd be. I'm not even worried about it. Kind of am. Did you get him? Yeah. All right, new game plan. Okay. Where do you want to go? You want to go further, follow this bank around? Yeah. We're going to head on and work this bank and just uh, try to find a different little cove to fish. We got some bites, but you know, no catches. So it is time to move on and try different things. deserves a fish. I got it up, up under the trees. Ooh. Dang, he hammered it. Holy crap. It's a freaking bluegill. He's huge. Thanks, buddy. First fish of the day, a bluegill. We left right now. We did not get skunk. Thanks to you, Maddie. You guys crushed it. That's all that's left of my worm. You are funny sounding. We can cross to go to that. Is that a cove? Let's go. So I'm following you. Probably at the little cove we want to be at. See if we can make something happen. Should be some fish back here. And I'm snack. When you're fishing around a bunch of sunken trees, it's to be expected. Got it. I had to get it at the right angle. Oh my goodness, no. Don't park on this tree right here. Bee's nest. That would have been really bad to bump into that. Oh. Good hook set, too. Thanks, buddy. Cutie. That felt big. I might have hooked it. That was such a good bite. And I can't believe that. Dang, guys, missed another fish. You hear that? It's like a freaking dinosaur. What kind of bird is that? Trying a new bait. Blizzard. pickerel. Cut through the braid like nothing. Well, I gotta retie. Few here and there. What about you? Yeah. What should you use? A live bait? Nice. I, fish, I catch a lot on uh, Berkeley Pound, mate. Okay, yeah. Worms. Yeah. June bug and black. Let's see what you got. I'm going to wait because well, these things are mean. Oh, are they? Oh, uh, when you get them, they don't like it. <laughs> they don't already tell my hands up. You got bass bass them? Yeah. Thing citations, uh, one's 23 inches and one's 21. Have you and those thrown into these? What you got there? Hey, you want to keep these in time? Oh, you don't mind? No. I got, oh, I appreciate I got, it. I got, I got Thanks. What I use is a right there, a real flat shelf. You might catch a bass out. But it's a channel, creek channel. comes in and goes around through there, but in the middle way of that table. Okay. Cheat a little bit of fish with live bait. But I'm excited to see them. Finally see something over a pound today. Oh, pigs. That's what's in here. <laughs> that one is pregnant. <laughs> That's what's in here. Different angles. 
Look at the cheese. I think I got you good. Good Lord. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Hey, well, good luck, y'all. Thank you. Have you hear Splash and I got one with that worm you gave me. <laughs> thank you. We're going to the area that kind gentleman told us to go to. He knows this lake. We've never fished here before. So we're gonna try over here. We've been grinding for hours. We gotta go to where them trees are. That's where they're jumping. I see them. I'm gonna put on the chopper. I can see the creek channel. Of course we get back here and everything stops jumping. Yeah. Over here. Watch this and then we gotta head back to the boat ramp. This lake is a hard one to figure out for sure. Oh, that was a bite. Nothing but short strikes. Big. No, he ain't that big. Well, he fought hard. We have been grinding and grinding at this lake, trying so hard to get a fish. I love you. Mwah. I'm just gonna get him right back in. Thank you for saving me from being skunked. And I know that that ain't the trophy you'd wanna catch at a trophy fishery, but you know what? When you haven't caught one yet, that is a trophy. And sometimes a pipsqueak is just what you need to get your head right. All right, you guys, cameras are dying, so I'm saving what I can just to show you guys. Got like a nice little two pounder right here. So we're not leaving here empty handed, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and let this beautiful baby go. Two pounder. That might end the trip because our cameras are dying and here she goes. Here she goes. We are here at lake number two. This lake is much smaller than the one we fished yesterday. I wanna say it's 80 acres, something around there, as opposed to 800 acres. Something about smaller bodies of water that feel more home to me. I'm more comfortable with them, have more confidence with them. If all goes well, we should find a pattern. It's the same as yesterday though. It's hot out here, little windy, little breeze, as you can tell. We're gonna get the boats pumped up. Maddie's already started with that. And uh, we're gonna get out here on the water and we'll catch you then. I had a bite while we were blowing these up right over here. Felt super tiny, but really aggressive. And I'm hoping that is going to be a good sign that all the fish are ready to bite. We go hit them with everything we got, right? Here we go. We're gonna head on up to this cove up here. Let's see if uh, we can find some fish willing to eat. Trowel up under these trees with the weightless worm. No. or snagged right where I wanted to cast. I think there's a creek over here. I went weightless back here because it's so funky. Fish on, guys. I don't know if he's big. Good one. First fish in the boat, guys. Woo. Not a bad guy either. Nice job, Maddie. Finally got one on the board. What a beauty. Thank you for the bite. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Buddy. You're free. He's sucking my thumb. He's biting me. 
so gentle. Now let's get some more. We caught the first fish of the day. Hopefully not the last. Let's get on up in here and try again. Oh, he blew up on it. Did you see it? He's back in those weeds. All right, let it go. Yeah, I know. Let it go. <laughs> Mad as hell. All right, we're going to leave you be. He looked like he ready to fight me. Bye, buddy. I'm snagged. Somebody else is fishing line. I don't know. I'm going into a tree. Yes! We just pulled this out of the water. That's a solid catch. Can't get a fish, I'll take a bait. That's the second best thing. It looks good back here. I'm seeing a lot of um, activity right here. Ooh, I see what you're looking at. We gonna get over here with Ray. I believe it's a creek right there. In whether it is or not, it's shallow right here. So we've just been working this whole little stretch because we figured might be some fish stacked up in here. Look, so I see a weight coming to my bait. Oh, uh, these might be carp. It might be. I know there's carp in here. Maddie. It's big. It's big. Barely hooked. It ain't that big. It's like a two, maybe two and a half. Oh, no, no, it's bigger than that. Oh, it's skinny, but big. Barely hooked. Come here, old girl. She's a good fish. She's just skinny. Y'all, look at this. That's how close she was to getting off. He's been through some things, so he's all beat up, but he's beautiful. Big old mouth on that fish. Jeez. I'm gonna say it's close to a three. It would be a three if he was, if it was filled out. Yeah. Might be a, um. Definitely got the body of a three. Yeah, it was supposed to be a three. Wanna get a weight on it? While we get the scale and stuff ready, just cause I'm curious, I'm gonna keep this baby in the water. 2.44. I'm telling y'all, this is weird. This is like a two pound fish in a three pounder's body. All right y'all, a 19 inch fish, but only two, little over two pounds. And um, he's just so skinny. He desperately needs to go back and get some real food. So we're gonna send him right back. Thanks buddy. Goes. Beautiful fish. He just uh, was a little funny looking. <laughs> you caught an old man fish. Yeah, he's like a grandpa fish. He's seen some things. Oh, <laughs> did you guys see that? Did that one come after your bait? No, my bait's over here. Wild thing, wouldn't it? Being harassed by a snapping turtle. He's huge. It's like everywhere I go, there he is. Oh, look right beside you. I know, I don't know what. All right, you're good. He's calm. <laughs> you really knew? A no, there's a, a snapping turtle about this I did big. Not know. That just looks like bass heaven right there. Maddie, got one. Beautiful little fish. Thanks, buddy. One little dink. Thank you, buddy. Oh, reeling it in and got him. That was sick. Yeah, they're tasting minnows. Ah! Well, quick release. <laughs> Oh. 
just a peewee. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Maybe you'd be up in there, buddy. Let's go. Look at that little cutie. Thanks, baby. Mwah. That was such a cool catch. He was exactly where I knew he would be, too, in the water. They're out and they're hungry. I think they're gonna be loaded up in this root system. Got one, Maddie. Yes. It's a decent one, y'all. And he just shook my worm off like it was nothing. But not a bad one. We'll take him. Here's our fish. Beautiful fish. Look at the belly on it. It's a fat little dink. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Thanks, baby. Oh, She's gone. <laughs> Sweet. This is like a cluster of like roots right there. Oh, he bit it. Ah, he's got me snagged. I'll have to go get him. Dang it. You need help? Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck up in this. You are the best. Maddie's uh, fin is a little bit shorter than mine. And she's able to get back up in this stuff and she's able to save this fish. Here's the fish. Bingo. Here's the fish. Bingo. All right, we're gonna let him free. Maddie, save the fish. He's perfectly fine though. You had him in the whip, the top of the roof of the mouth. Oh, Look at this. You think you're not gonna get snagged in here when you hook one? You're funny. You should see how much how many how much timber is under there right there. I don't know if you can see underneath this water. It's a bunch of roots. My fin is so long that I couldn't get back there without getting stuck. So Maddie come along and save the fish. What would I do without you? Be a fish killer. I was gonna say it. Here. I don't have to live without it on my conscience. Number. My bait hadn't sunk when I cast it, like dangled in one of those little, um, I don't know, weeds. And then I pulled it out of it, and as soon as it smacked the top of the water, I saw like the weight come up and like slurp my bait down. And I knew fish. So I set the hook, felt the fish, and then immediately right after I felt like his head shake, it was snagged. And I thought, I thought he had gotten off though, I'm not gonna lie. And he was so, up and down like. Thank God for you. Yeah, like straight. There's more in there. That thing is loaded with them. Yeah, they have all been little. I could stay there and hook fish all day long. I just think things like that are gonna continue to happen. So I'm gonna leave them fish alone. Yes, 100%. I got scared reaching my arm down there. We're gonna return to this cove, get on a few more fish before it's time to go. That's a pretty good cast. Yep, there's my bite. Got him. <laughs> knew you'd be up there, buddy. I knew it. Beautiful little fish. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Good God. He was kicking before he hit the water. There's those little ducks. They're tiny little babies and a mom. stuck on a log. He's still on. We're gonna go help Maddie out. She's in the same situation I was in, stuck with a fish on. He might not be on no more. No, he is. Ugh. She got him. Sheesh. Little guys are putting us through something today, aren't they? What a cutie. That stuff will snag you up like a tree. I think Maddie put a rooster tail on, so she ought to have loads of fun catching some multi-species. Pretty much any fish will bite a rooster tail.
What do we got, y'all? Oh, good God. Get in the boat. That's a nice one right there. I'm ready to try to end this off with some multi-species action. It's a red ear. Didn't take you long to get a fish on it, did it? Through his nostril, he has a nose piercing now. <laughs> Stop it! It's enough of you. Now here, your sense of smell is gonna be a little messed up, but it should be good. Beautiful little fish. Most have been about this size today, which is fine. It's a lot of fun catching them, and that's all that matters. Thanks, baby. Y'all, the sun has went down behind the mountains, so it's time for us to call it. It's so peaceful out here. Not a single sound other than the chirping of bugs and frogs and splashing of the occasional fish that just lives to tease me. It's been so much fun. Cannot wait to explore the next lake. This is definitely one um, I found so much peace at. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely a place I'll be returning to. Well, that was fun. All right, you guys, that is gonna call it. We've had a lot of fun. The first lake, I personally wasn't too happy with the time we spent there and would like to go back again. There's so much sand and timber and I don't know. I just feel like I know there, there's big fish in there. It's such a big lake. I it think is we, a big lake. we need more time to really explore different sections of it. So I think um, we're gonna plan to go back to that lake. Second lake felt more like home to me. It was much smaller. No monsters were caught, but we caught a lot of fish. Fun. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. It really was. It's getting dark out here, as you can see. We have to get these boats deflated and put away. We're going to sign out for tonight, but we will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.